Hey guys, it's Rosie, and you're listening to The Revolution Podcast with Rosie Revolts. So today I'm going to be talking about um, just my trip in general. It's been a really long time since I've recorded an episode. I'm sorry about that, but it's been a really busy summer, surprisingly. Um, So I'm going to just explain everything that I've been doing and just basically talk to you guys. So if you didn't know, um, my last episode was before I went on my trip. Um, We were planning on going for about three to four weeks and we ended up going for about three and a half, I think. But it was a bit different than um, we thought it was going to be. So if you remember, we were planning to go to Colorado and go mountain biking and just have a family vacation out there. But we actually ended up not going out to Colorado. So let me start at the beginning of our trip and just do a quick overview of what we did. And then I'll get into a bit more detail of what we did. So first we went into Indiana and we were there for two weeks. And then we went to North Carolina, um, and then we spent a decent amount of time on our way back just visiting things, um, like, up on the East Coast. So, in Indiana, um, we visited family and just kind of got into the groove of, um, you know, visiting family in the morning and the afternoon, and just going off and doing different activities um, during the day. We did a lot of going to the library while I was editing videos and doing school. Also, we went to the Indiana Dunes National Park, um, which definitely wasn't my favorite thing ever. It was kind of underwhelming. Um, I didn't really like it super much. I've seen a lot of dunes, so it wasn't really very impressive next to, like, the Great Sand Dunes or Oregon Dunes, Um, but... It definitely was interesting to see a national park in Indiana. Um, So, what else did we do in Indiana? Um, We went up to Detroit and we picked up my brother, um, who was going to help us drive out to Colorado, but instead we kind of decided that we didn't really want to drive from 14 hours to Indiana and then another like 17 to get to Colorado and then we have to go all the way back just my mom and I and I can't drive in a lot of those states and it would have been with our camper so it would have been pretty challenging but there was quite a plot twist um one day my mom was just browsing through the internet as people do and she just got this idea that we need a new camper Because we've had one of our campers for several years now. It's served its purpose quite enough. Um, It doesn't have a bathroom though, so that was basically the tiebreaker for us. So she spent all day looking, and then we called up my dad at like 10 p.m., and we were just talking, and we had decided on this camper. And then my dad just pauses for a second, and then when he comes back on the phone, he's like, I put in an offer. So when we went up to Detroit, we looked at this camper that he had put in an offer on. They didn't accept it, um, but we really, really liked the layout of the camper. So he actually, just like an hour later, was looking at another camper in Kentucky. And he put in an offer on that one, and it was accepted, and we got our camper. So we were just at this outlet mall buying some new shorts for me because I have these... um, athletic shorts from Under Armour that I really like but they were getting too small and I wear them like almost every day so I was thinking I was um ready to get a new pair which I love them but we were just so surprised that he had just bought a camper so um we picked up my brother then we were in Indiana with him for a few days and then we headed off to Columbus Ohio where we saw one of my friends um she used to live in New Hampshire but she has been moving around and now she lives in Columbus so it was really nice to see her I didn't seen her in um a year I think so that was fun we got to you know see like where she lives and stuff just explore around it was really cool and then um the next morning we headed off to Louisville and we picked up our camper it took a few hours for them to set it up Um, but after that, we were driving to, I think we stopped in 
near Knoxville um, in a KOA, and we actually parked right next to a lady with another R-Pod, which is what we got, um, and she was like, oh, wow, that's so cool that you got an R-Pod, and she's like, how long have you had it? And we're like, this is our first night, so we kind of bonded over that, and we had all these conversations, but remember that lady for a bit later in the story, um, so she had, like, these stickers on her R-Pod, so I was like, hmm, that's interesting, so I, I kind of remember that. But fast forward later, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so then the next day we drove to Asheville, North Carolina, and we picked up my cousin and my dad. And um, so our camper actually has enough beds for five people, but one of the beds, it's a um, futon, so it folds out, but it's not really super long. I could probably sleep on it if I really wanted to, but... I don't know. It wouldn't be the most comfortable. It's got bunks also and then a Murphy bed. So it's more comfortable for four people or even fewer than that. So my cousin actually had to sleep on the floor on an air mattress. And it was kind of um, a lot of stuff to be in the camper. But it was cozy and the bathroom's really nice. So I really, really like the camper. But in Asheville, we stayed at this really nice campground. It was another KOA that had super nice Wi-Fi. So we had Wi-Fi like everywhere in the campground because we were all doing work in school and just stuff like that. So it was nice to be able to be on work calls and everything, um, but still be camping because we all um, couldn't take that much time off um, all at once. So... Yeah, I really enjoyed Asheville. We actually went mountain biking a few times. We had originally brought our bikes to go to Moab in Utah, but of course that didn't happen because we didn't go to Colorado. But um, one of the days that I was mountain biking, I actually had a decently bad crash. I don't know if you've seen one of my more recent videos was from then. I actually caught it on GoPro. My GoPro was sitting in a bag and on the front of my bike and I hit this little like rut kind of thing and hit my brakes I flipped over like well I didn't flip over I went over the handlebars and landed like right on my face and like all of my front hit the ground and then my bike flipped over and landed on top of me so I hurt my knee decently bad I couldn't walk on it very well for like almost a week I had to tape up my hand, um, I had to tape up my pinky finger and my ring feather finger together because I couldn't move them or bend them or anything. Um, I also hit my nose, so there was a decently large bump on my nose for several days. Um, but actually, the worst part of that now is my hand is still hurting, and I haven't gone to the doctor yet about it, but I'm not sure if I should or if I should just wait, because I don't really think they can do anything except like x-ray it and see it like that it's probably fractured but like after that the I don't even know they'll probably just be like don't hurt it again so I don't know if it's worth going to the doctor for but that's kind of it's been a month since that happened it's yeah I think today it's been four weeks so it's been long enough that it probably should not be hurting but I don't know what to do about it okay um Aside from hurting my hand, uh, I had a really great time in Asheville. Well, hurting everything, too. It was kind of not a fun week. I wasn't able to ride a bike. It still hurts when I ride a bike, actually, um, pushing down on my palm. Um, But let's move on from that. Um, Also in Asheville, we found this really cool grocery store that, like, sells gluten-free food that stores, like, don't want anymore. So... There was just so much gluten-free food, and we loaded up on it and kind of picked out just a little bit on the drive home, but that's okay. It was definitely worth it. Um, And we also went to the Biltmore Mansion, which I had a great time at. It's so, like, iconic and pretty, and in, like, because of the coronavirus, there weren't very many people there, so, um, like... Each room, we were almost always the only people in, and my grandparents went there last year, and they said that it was super crowded, but now that they have to put a lot more restrictions on how many people can be in there, it was a lot more, like, relaxing, and we could spend more time in each room, 
So I really was kind of glad that we got to go there under the restrictions. But what we didn't know and what I will warn you about is that we stopped at Will Call to get our tickets and um, my brother and dad dropped me and my cousin and my mom off because we thought we could just go to the mansion from there. Um, they were going mountain biking um, and the lady at the desk is like, no, you need a car. You need to get your car back. And we're like, we got dropped off. We don't have a car. So she's like, but you need to get a car. So they had to come back from their mountain biking to bring us from Will Call to the mansion, which was not, I don't know. It, I would have liked to know about it before. So we were all pretty annoyed about that. But when we got to the mansion, it was so beautiful and I had a great time. There's a video about that on my channel also. So make sure you check that out. And after we got done in the mansion, it was really hot out. Oh, and also before we went in the mansion, actually, they didn't tell us that we needed to put all of our stuff into like a little bag. So we were a bit late for our time because they made us go down to lockers and take stuff out of our backpack because we were planning on spending the whole day there without a car. Of course, that didn't really work out super well. But when we were done in the mansion, we went down through the gardens. It was really hot out, kind of gross. Um, but the sun started to go away, so that was nice. But we actually had to walk all the way from the mansion up to Deer Park, which is like the second stop in the Biltmore. So there's the actual mansion. Then Deer Park's like in the middle. And then in the back, there's like the winery and the farm and the hotel. So it's like five or 6,000 acres this entire um, estate but we had to walk I think it was like two and a half miles um, up to Deer Park on the side of the road there was no like transportation or sidewalks even or bike rentals or anything that we could have done we had to walk so it took us an hour to walk up to Deer Park and I, I don't know it was not super fun it was pretty scenery but I think I would have liked to see it at a bit of a faster pace personally um what else did we do we saw the Downton Abbey exhibit um in Deer Park that's actually the only reason we went to Deer Park um but we'd already seen it in Boston but my cousin hadn't seen it and we were starting to get him hooked on Downton Abbey so it was nice to see it again and uh, like again with fewer crowds um and we wanted to see the dresses again they were in like a different section even though we had already seen them what would it was okay that we actually didn't end up getting to see them um but my dad and brother had to come back with the car and pick us up and bring us to um the winery where the dresses were but we actually didn't end up having enough time because my cousin and my brother both had meetings scheduled so it was a full day ordeal and it could have been longer if we um didn't have their meetings and also if we had had a car um, I still would recommend the Biltmore, um, even though it's really expensive and kind of a pain if you don't have a car, but I would assume that most people are going to have a car when they're going there. Um, yeah, so we also kind of just explored around Asheville, um, tried out a lot of the local, like, restaurants and stuff like that. So, I had a great time there. Um, we were planning on going to the Outer Banks after that. Um, we even had a reservation at a really nice campground, and we still have reservations there. Um, I think we're just on, like, credit because there was actually, like, a really big tropical storm coming that, like, we didn't know about when we scheduled them. So now we didn't get to go there, and we have to go there someday to use up our credit. I really want to go there, so I was kind of sad that we didn't get to, but... Oh, well, I mean, there's nothing we can do about the weather. Um, so, yeah, we went past um, the Outer Banks and we continued up to Williamsburg, Virginia. And we saw Colonial Williamsburg, which was really fun. Um, but we stayed in a nice KOA again. Um, <laughs> but remember that lady that I told you about with that R-Pod with the stickers on it? She was actually at the Williamsburg campground which was super funny, so we talked to her for a while there, um, and then we saw her the next day at Colonial Williamsburg, like, three or four times, 
which was funny. Um, but it, Colonial Williamsburg was super cool with all the uh, reenactments. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a colonial town from around like 1779-ish. Um, I think, no, it might be a little bit before that, but in the 1770s, I think. So all of the houses are in that style, and I think 80 of the buildings on the property are actually original, and a lot of them are open to um, see the inside and see the um, actors inside, so it was really cool, but it was so hot out that we couldn't spend all day there. I do think we saw enough of it, though, and we went back to our campground for a bit, and then after that, we brought our bikes back over into Williamsburg, and we biked around um, the College of William and Mary, which was a super beautiful campus, um, but I don't think I'll be going there. I just, it's pretty far from home, and I don't know if I want to go to college in the South. So, yeah, I really enjoyed Williamsburg also. Then, after that, we were thinking about visiting even more colleges um, on the way back, but... We didn't end up seeing them, but another thing that we did do was we stopped in Washington, D.C. with the camper. We actually parallel parked it, which was super funny, but I, in here's a little backstory. In London last year for my birthday, we went to this um, fast food chicken nuggets place called Leon. They have them everywhere in London, but they only have like one or two I think in the U.S. and none of them are near New Hampshire so when I learned that we were going really close to D.C. we just had to go there so we ended up getting chicken nuggets and sitting out on a bench in D.C. um and then we like biked by the Washington Monument and down the mall a little bit past the White House it was all super cool and we got to see the Black Lives Matter street too um, yeah, I really liked going to D.C. I hadn't been there in a year, so it's not that long, but we were there more, like, kind of wintry, so it wasn't the same. It was super hot again, though. Um, after D.C., we went on and stayed in Connecticut, which is super close to home, so it was kind of weird to be staying that close, but we went to Yale, Um, which I don't think I'll be going there either. New Haven just doesn't really seem to be my vibe. I don't know. Really pretty, but not really my thing. Um, after that, we tried to go to Brown in Providence, but it, all the street parking was too narrow to fit our camper, so we couldn't really go there. But we will take a day trip down there sometime soon. So then after that, it was just like, an hour and a half home so it wasn't really bad um so I really enjoyed my trip and I hope you guys like hearing about it um but now I have to tell you guys about what I've been doing lately now that I've been home for like three two or three weeks I don't remember how many but yeah before we do that let's listen to another quick sponsored segment okay so I've been home yeah, I don't even know how long it's been, like two and a half, three weeks, I think. Um, I've been doing a lot of the same, kind of just catching up on things because I did put off a lot of things like podcasting and I've actually been putting it off a bit longer. I'm sorry about that. I think I missed two more weeks because I've just been really busy. Um, I actually started my schoolwork two weeks ago, so I've been trying to get ahead on that and I really want to try and finish around March April-ish so that I'll have like a super long spring and summer break next year. Um, I'm taking five courses right now and then once I finish my math class I'm going to take another math class and then I'm going to take writing and Spanish so it's going to be a lot but I'm trying to get quickly through the courses that I'm in now so then I can move on to the other ones because they will um, overhang into my spring summer thing, I'm sure. Um, I've also been making a lot of videos. Of course, I made a video, um, for this Saturday about, um, 
just my tips for homeschool and online school kids in like middle school and high school so you should definitely check that out it's um it's a pretty good advice I'd say I would have wished that somebody would have told me this like two years ago when I started um doing my online school because it would have been um less of a learning curve for me um I talk about like the kind of apps that I use and programs to help me out um just kind of recommendations I have for your study habits um just I don't know just general like advice that would help you out if you were going to be doing online school this year and also it kind of kicks off a little back to school series I'm going to try to start it's the first year that I have been doing back to school but I haven't actually been going back into real school so I think it might be a good opportunity for me to make back to school videos hopefully you guys like those um just let me know if you want to see them or whatever and what you want to see for back to school videos um Oh, I should talk about where we're going tomorrow. We are going to Indiana again. We are leaving like 4 a.m. tomorrow, driving 14 hours all in one day. And hopefully we're going to um, not be too tired just to stay there for Saturday and Sunday for my grandfather's 90th birthday party, which will be super cool to just see extended family that we haven't seen in a while and celebrate my grandpa. Um, and then on Monday, we'll probably be coming almost all the way back. We might visit Cornell on the way back, but it's going to be a really, really long trip. So kind of trying to mentally brace myself and I'm downloading a lot of movies and hopefully I'll be able to do some school in the car because it's always nice to use that time that I won't be motivated to try to make myself get something done. Um, also, today I've been designing some shirts. Um, a little backstory before I tell you what the shirts are for. Um, the other day, my mom and I hiked my 98th and 99th of our 100 highest mountains in New England, which I've been working on for 12 years. Um, the rest of my family's been working on for 15. So I think it's really awesome that I'm at number 99. And I will be finishing in three weeks from yesterday I believe we're setting it for my dad's birthday because um that was the day that they started 15 years ago so I think that's really awesome that it's going to be like to the day it won't be for me I'm not even sure what the exact day I started on was but it was about 12 years ago I think so I'm making shirts I'm designing shirts like stemming off of my get outdoors logo from my book and if you don't know my book make sure to check out getoutdoorsbook.com um i'm making shirts that say new england 100 highest on them and then with the logo on the front so i'm trying to find what the best option is to order those like for not super expensive <laughs> so i will definitely be posting about those on like instagram and youtube i will be also posting a um 100 highest video because it's like kind of a really big event in my life having hikes all hundred of them that I've been working on for so long so there will definitely be lots of content about that so make sure you come back to my social media for that all of my social media is at Rosie Revolts by the way also my Etsy shop is at Rosie Revolts you can buy custom choker necklaces they're like embroidery thread super durable comfortable cute summery so hope you go check that out um i don't really think i've been doing much else i've been doing some sewing diys um i made a thrift flip the other day and that's up on my channel so make sure you check that out um kind of just been thankfully getting back on tiktok for a while there's been like they thought that tiktok was stealing our data but then my dad made sure that our internet was safe so I've been back on TikTok and have I missed it a lot. I know that sounds stupid, but if you are Gen Z, you probably understand that it's like kind of a social space, but entertainment at the same time. So I really enjoy it and I've been liking getting back to it. Um, I don't really think I've been doing anything else. I've been doing some like acting too. I've been researching casting calls. 
because I used to be in acting a lot and I really enjoyed it but now I miss it and I'm trying to get back into it again so I've signed up for like online audition thingies (laughs) thingies just databases with casting calls and hopefully I will find something and I'm sure if I do you guys will hear about it if it turns out well but yeah it's basically what I've been doing it's been a lot of school a lot of making videos a lot of brainstorming trying to come up with some great content for the next few months um because I will not be going back to school so hopefully well a lot of you guys are going to be returning to school you will have good content to entertain you when you are not at school so on that note um I hope you enjoyed hearing about my whole trip and just kind of listening to my ramble brain dump because I haven't been able to do this and I think it's been like five or six weeks also I've been pretty annoyed that um my podcast hasn't been distributed yet to all of my um platforms I know that it's because of the coronavirus that they can't distribute podcasts right now but I really wish they could do mine because I haven't been getting very many listeners through the platforms and most listens are on YouTube because nobody can find my podcast so hopefully soon my podcast will be distributed and I'm sure you guys will hear about that from um, my social media but yeah thank you guys so much for listening um i hope you are having a great day um stay well and i will see you guys next week bye